never been in a sandstorm. I tell you what, they're one of the coolest goddamn this things you've ever seen. Katie, this is either the best thing or the worst thing right now. <laughs> You're the god, I'll let you decide. <laughs> uh, all right, so just the wave that is coming. Uh, window tool. Everyone in the tents. <laughs> haboob. <laughs> haboob. <laughs> uh, dance over the yelling out haboob. Because it's a really fun word to say, but it, it it's what this thing is called, I think. I think a haboob is a sandstorm, right? Or am I, I believe that's... I, I, that, that very well could be correct. Um, a but... haboob is a type of intense dust storm carried on atmospheric... Ra- yeah, this is a haboob. Yeah. Uh, when I was in Arizona, uh, we had one of these where we were in a building and there's like your phone went boop, 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 don't be outside. And then it's like, oh, a blizzard is coming. A blizzard of dirt. <laughs> I assume our tents are kind of made for this certain level of um They, they are meant for it if phenomenon. you batten everything down. Okay, uh, weaker well, tents or damaged tents. Into the tents, let the orcs <laughs> suck, on, suck on the sandstorm. <laughs> All right, so it's, it's not here yet, but it is approaching. And I'll... We'll go back to the fight map. Thank you, Akiti. We could fire arrows through our... <laughs> we could fire Where arrows indoors. <laughs> without your ra- and, and keep your wrath to the outside. Our tents are small. It is of no consequence to you. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, top of the round. Oh. Gazorig. Uh, could you force it back to the map? Oh, sorry. I'll do that. Tool... Okay, are there any penalties right now on, on attacks? Uh, shooting through that wall of wind will be impossible. Okay. So we got these orc warriors that are threatening, and then there's riders right it. They're going to get haboobed. So, uh... <laughs> those, are, those are waiting for the haboobing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can see this guy? Uh, yep. Yeah. And you can see the edge of the, the, the wind wall. Let's have a look here. They're both in point blank range. All right, well, five foot steps so that there's no uh, cover. We don't have those feats yet. And I think we're just attacking uh, the orcs that have shown me their sides, shown me their flanks. Mm. Oh, we've got Cat's Grace up now, too. You do. Very good. Very good. Uh, That first orc is going to, well, we'll just roll until one goes down but all right this will be plus seven plus seven with cat's grace point blank shot um Your divine favor, favor and the judgment yep so one three four five plus twelve plus twelve oh, so good third level ac 21 ac 21 a couple of mighty arrows from your orcish bow i'm gonna assume that it's all yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll separate it out. Uh, you, you'll need both. Yep. They're orcs. They're frustrating. Five. Five. I was going to take favorite enemy orc, but the the touch AC thing is just so so nice to have. Uh, Twelve damage and fourteen damage. Okay. Uh, it's still standing. You've got a couple wounds that are like if two arrows that are clear through its chest. It should die. Especially because the troop is next. All right, and the troop's gonna let yeah. know what. All right, what. so I'll start attacking the warrior behind him. Okay. Uh, with the remaining attacks. <clears throat> hit. Or I I don't know an AC nineteen. Yeah, 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 that hits. Yeah, okay. An AC twelve is probably a miss. No, twelve is a miss. Uh, 16 damage on a significant wound we weakening them so that you know the, the Ukrainian warriors can, can... Let, let the hooks do their work <laughs> all right um okay uh saran and yasuge um will go back into their tent and start putting on battle equipment you can also go hide with the women and children <laughs> did that remark specifically at Yasuke. <laughs> he's he's rubbing it in a little bit. K. 
Okay. Um, the sorry for the crunching. This is like the, the worst dinner ever. This is Cheetos. <laughs> the little bag of cheesies. Yeah. The poofy, che- the poofy one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Father Dagan and, and your mother. Your mother is going to. Uh, let's see what we have. No. No. Your mother will cast a... She already gave you that. And... Your mother is actually just going to bless the battlefield. She can pretty much get everybody who's fighting. Morale bonus? I think that stacks with all the bonuses that are running. Uh, I'll double check the Inquisitor one. Okay, the the Blessings of Akkadi. Sacred. Fuck yeah. Blessings of Akkadi (laughs) upon the Akkadians. Um, And she starts to move back. Uh, You said to go back to the tents. So she's moving moving back with grandfather and great-grandfather. Two reasons. Confined space... They're here for prisoners, so that mean, it means they have to get close. It's um, unlikely they're just going to fireball the tent into nothingness. And uh, the hubub. The impending doomstorm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your father. Um... Yeah, your, your father is saying something about horses. He didn't quite catch it in the wind. Um, he ends up moving around this way like he was tracking the um, the yak rider. Like okay. He's going in the general direction he thinks that went. Oh, the, the horses are all... F- the horses are all fucked. We can get other ones. They'd be fucked anyways. <laughs> What's up the storm? <laughs> Katie! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Uncle... It's a very unacunian thing to say, but... You know, the horses are valuable, but... It's not like we've never had a horse die. Uh, Sister Yisa. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, Sister Yisa <laughs> is going to... Um, she starts singing. Um, it's a extraordinarily deep singing voice from a, a nice young lass. It's not as deep as the normal... Uh, throat singing but yep um she is chanting um chanting the praises uh giving a plus one to hit and damage okay which does not stack with no it's competence it's a competence oh my goodness (laughs) the bonus (laughs) the bonus i try (laughs) my people my people uh she does that uh when she fires uh, an arrow this time the arrow that she fires after singing doesn't have the purpley glow um you know she can only do that purple glow thing sometimes you know it's just the she said it she just puts her words on the arrow is which how she explained it to, to you at one point yep um I understand what magic is I uh, mean, she... he doesn't he knows that magic exists and he has it but <laughs> Uh, she plunks Spell an arrow. Spellcraft plus four with one rank. <laughs> it exists. Uh, she, she plunks an arrow into the orc riders. Um, she hits. Uh, her bow is not as potent as every, as the other bows out there. It, it does five damage. Uh, with the buff, plus six damage. Okay. Okay. Um, Gambu and the Acunian males. Sorry, uh, grandfather Genzorigi uh, first will. Uh, I think he's retreating into the into the yurt and sort of trying to help secure everyone with grandmother. Um, he's cast a couple spells. He told his stories. He got drunk. He's done all he can. He is tired. Um, uh, right. The Acunian males are going to attack. Um, Gambu is going to incur. Well, we, we don't want the AOs, I think. We're still... No, we also want to 
keep cover keep cover behind Akiti's wool. Okay. Um, like, or do our damage and then move back? Or yeah, yeah. 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 Gambu, Gambu will nod to that. The troop will do a troop attack. Um, your outlaw troop of chain shirts, leather armor, knives and swords being menacing. <laughs> Uh, does 3d6 plus 5 just automatically for being around uh, so 9 damage as kind of they're, they're busy chanting to Akadee and the wind is coming with um, hey Matt four years. That how's it going? I can see you this, guys kills this orc uh, this orc is heavily wounded that orc is then like the skull is separated from the body. Um, second attack. Second attack hits. Um, killing this orc as a Tetsubo basically ninja turtles that, that particular orc. Head goes into the, the ribcage. <laughs> Gens are waving them over. Okay, they, they basically... The archer's over there. The wind wall's here. <laughs> okay, they they move back a little bit. Uh, they seem to be eyeing the they, the riders. They they're worried about the riders. Don't worry about the slavers. We could just untie people afterwards. <laughs> There's a nod from Gambu. Yeah, that actually yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you know, Gambu's not the smartest fellow. <laughs> so I guess he's not the smartest. He's very wise though. So. <laughs> he's not the wisest either. <laughs> you know, like they spend time tying up. We spend time killing the other guys. Come back, kill them, untie everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, the orcs. All right. So uh, the first orc would be the riders. Okay. Uh, yeah, they kind of saw what you did. They've got a clear run. They're taking a charge at your troop. No. Okay. Uh... The riding boars. Yes. Mm. Uh, one second. All the things that are too stupid to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, they get along really well. <laughs> All right, so look out the... for the pigs riding the pigs. Uh... So they do um, that doubled. Okay, the troop is slamming into the Kunian warriors. Um, the uh, the attacks are brutal and vicious. Um, doing. Fifty damage. Um, as well as, uh, okay, so they do, they, they, like, land upon the troop. Um, some of the men are pulled in and pulled under, um, by the, by the boars. Uh, Genzorig, you know that if, a, like, if a man gets caught into the herd of pigs, they would be pulled to the ground and trampled, aka they... You just get tripped, and you take extra. All the all on. the horrible gory. All damage. the horrible things happen as the pigs. The, the pigs. Uh, how much damage did the uh, the they Acunian? Took, the Acunian males take fifty damage. I'm just oh. checking here. Uh, Max just dropped a hero point, by the way. For the pigs. No, no, hero, hero <laughs> point. Hero. <laughs> hero. Uh, give me a second as I open my calculator. Uh, the troop is still good, so that would be. Um, the, the men are wounded; they are not quite bloodied. And did we decide whether or not, because these are technically AOEs, do they do? Did we land on what we decided with the troop rules on troop versus troop combat in terms of? Is it 
empowered damage or no? Uh, I don't think so. Could be. I don't know where we landed on that. All right. Uh, we st- we still haven't landed on that. We're going to go with no for now, just because one shotting them would suck. Uh, they are heavily wounded as they got blasted by by orcs. Uh, they are not. Um, they're not bloodied, but it's close. Okay. It's not good. Uh, you know that these orcs will win this fight. Like the the, if it's just the beasts and the if they just sit there and rub against each other for for a minute. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that is the at, orc at least ride. they're not charging anymore, though. Correct. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, the charge is done. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, after the orc riders, we have the. Uh, orc archers, uh, the orc archers, they see the wind wall. Um, they are going to move this round, uh, and it's a standard action to use their attack, so they triple move this round. Um, these orc warriors behind the wind wall are chasing down more horses. Okay, these two warriors are going into another tent, and these two warriors are going into another tent. Um, I'm going to roll a d10. Um, on a two, three, four, they go into a tent, there's somebody in it. On a one, they're going into your brother's tent. Okay, there's screaming from tents. There's screaming from two different tents over there. But I saw them go into my brother's tent. You saw you saw warriors go into your brother's tent. Two of them, huh? Two of them. Okay. Uh, your brother is a decent fighter. He's got he's very similar to you in his capabilities. Maybe not quite as optimized, <laughs> um, but he doesn't have his pants on. Yeah, again, Zerg's probably gonna have to go save his brother. that side of the battle uh these two are they're not worried about them they're running off to a tent on the other side um they there's no screams from the tent that they come from although it's at this distance it might be hard to hear uh all right the yak rider okay the yak rider is making is doing a thing and moving around and you can't see him. Uh, <laughs> blow those winds quicker. <laughs> carry, this, right. carry this orc filth away. Okay, the, the winds are still coming. The winds pick up. It's minus two to attack with ranged weapons. Outside of tents. Outside of tents. Yeah, no, inside tents, it's you're protected from the wind. All right. Okay, top of the round. <clears throat> Kenzori dashes into his brother's tent, or just to the opening of the tent. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to tick. He wanted to stay with the troops, but I think his brother is more important to Kenzori. Okay. Um, so you, you, you dash into, into the tent. Uh, currently... Uh, or, or until I see an orc that, you know, I don't want to be in the orc space. All right. So I'm going to roll a D8. The lower the number, the more the entrance to the tent faced you. Okay. Because we didn't really orient the map. And I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure there's some sort of etiquette where you don't wave your junk in front of other people. Or maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not certain about your etiquette. <laughs> oh, it's just the opposite. <laughs> You just run around the whole goddamn thing. All right, so two it's moves two, to get it's two moves to get. To, to, All right, to, well then we're gonna we're gonna I guess a uh, rapid shot into the butt of the orcs. <laughs> okay, uh, are you using the tent as cover? Sure, I'll use the entrance to the tent as cover. Okay. Uh... Oh, you you're not 
getting AOO'd. Okay. That's what you're describing. <laughs> Two at. Normally plus seven. Uh, point blank shot. Uh, divine favor. My brain's having a fart. The, uh, the judgment. The cat's grace. The blessing. And how much of the bard song? Uh, just a plus one, plus one bard song. Okay, so your sister's it's not a, way it's more a plus seven. Than you. <laughs> <laughs> My little sister's so much better than I am. AC seventeen, AC thirty one. Uh, AC seventeen, AC thirty one. They both hit. Okay, and they're gonna probably need both arrows to put one down. Uh, you need both of them rolling well to put one down. Okay. Um, normally it's plus three, so. The things that add to damage are the Bard Song and the Divine Favor. The Point Blank Shot. Total of 23 damage. Cool. Uh, you, you significantly wound this orc. You put a, an arrow in one kidney and an arrow through its neck. It is still struggling with your with your brother. It looks like it's got some sort of shackles that it's like trying to put on him. Quit picking on my brother. He was dropped on his head as a child. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> Will you get dressed already? <laughs> we'll rip and have me my bow. Does he not have his bow in his hand? I, no, he was putting armor on. Gives her to shake his head. Uh, he might be an it build as opposed to a wisdom build. <laughs> charisma build. It's charisma. You see, <laughs> see it's charisma against right. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, He's a okay. slayer uh, oracle as opposed to a <laughs> ranger, a ranger inquisitor. Uh, okay. Uh, this round. Okay. So the uh, uncle, uh, uncle Gambu, and the. Um, Kunian males are fighting the orc riders. Um, they are slamming back and forth. You're not actually witnessing things, so I can just sort of speed this along a little bit. Uh, hi -oh -ha, hi -oh -ha. Uh, Sister Yisa um, is supporting... He's going to whip a couple of arrows, or whip a single arrow and then run. She misses. Um, she is running behind the wind wall and behind the men. She doesn't want to be the prime target. Uh, your father is now off doing something in the darkness alone. I'm trying to track down the Yakman. Yep. Uh, inside, they're battening down the hatches. You hear a, a uh, like another blessed spell go off. Or you don't you don't hear it, but another blessed spell ends up going off over on that side of the side of the realm. Um, and your you know your mother cast or someone cast some sort of healing magic. You, you heard if you had spell crafted that sort of thing, <laughs> it was healing magic going off. Um, all right, uh, top of or uh, the bottom of the round, the the, the theirs turns. The orc riders, uh, they are... What did my brother do? Uh, well, oh, sorry. What did your brother do? Your brother is... Well, he's in the middle of putting on armor. So he's two rounds into putting on something that takes five rounds. No, he needs um, to defend himself. <laughs> he's, so he's not putting on the armor. Yep. So he's going to start attacking. I think he's attacking in melee because he's in a confined space. Um... He is going to use. What can he reach from here? He doesn't want to provoke AOs. <laughs> um, he's going to provoke an AO as he is grabbing a weapon. So he's grabbing a sword. Um, it's like it's a Chinese style dao, so like a one edged sword with like little rings on the back. Um, and he is slicing at the warriors. Uh, they are going to take their reactions. They're going to attempt to hurt him. Okay, the one that you stabbed just rolled a natural one on the 
hit yeah. the naked man. Like, he just missed yeah. the naked man. <laughs> uh, the other it one is. is hits the naked man. All right, so miss. Okay, uh, the one that you've you've shot through the neck and through the kidney uh, ends up getting caught in uh, as he's attacking at um, uh, Yusuke. Gets caught in the tent, gets jostled and falls prone. The other one tells Yusuke that he shouldn't be doing what he's doing and deals 11 damage uh, with a vicious slash. I'm assuming Yusuke's stats are the same. Where you just going to run your yeah? Your stat he will next um, he will absorb with his con for two. Yeah, he'll reduce it by two. Okay, he reduces it by two. Um, he now has a uh, sword in his hand. Uh, what's your melee? What's your melee with? Uh, regu no, uh, with with a regular, regular sword, uh, melee would be plus six. So with a masterwork sword, it's plus seven. With bard song, it's plus eight. Yeah, and attack the down guy. Okay. Yeah, he he. Okay, two handing a long sword, D eight plus four plus bard song. <laughs> okay, he does enough damage. He kills this orc. There we go. Um, and then he will swing at the other orc. Uh, That's a critical he... threat. Should make fun of your brother. He's he's my he be good at this. <laughs> well, the Slayer or Oracle or whatever. <laughs> Amazing uh, critical! Wow. <laughs> Three D eight plus fifteen damage. <laughs> He nearly decapitates this orc. Uh, the orc is still alive, amazingly. It's gurgling. Uh, what What is Ganzorig's assessment of... Like, are we screwed? Like, are we... Is all lost at this point? There's no winning where people don't die. Um, and... There's a good like if if this wind doesn't save your people, like you're not you're you're losing people no matter what. The haboob's coming. You gotta stay inside here. Let me see if I can find a horse once we kill this guy. Okay. All right. Don't just think because you're being a hero that makes you special. <laughs> Ginzurg looks at you, uh, looks at his brother and says, you might be the ones that have to repopulate our tribe. Uh, Saran looks embarrassed. <laughs> uh, the... <laughs> the least of Ganzorig's concerns right now. <laughs> if she's feeling a little flushed. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll leave it to Yusuke to tell his girlfriend how to get armed. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yep, 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 yep. All right. Um, oh yeah, the bleed. There's bleed in, in addition to that. Th there is bleed. The bleed One will happen bleed. on his turn. Awesome. I'll put the little bleed dot on him. Okay. Yeah. The token satisfying. says. <laughs> uh, all right. So. Uh... The the battle uh, continues. The Acunian male troop is now bloodied. Did they do uh, damage to the? Uh, they they already did that. They okay. already did theirs. This is the this is the retort. Uh, the archers wasn't the thirty five from the uncle's attack. No, that was from that was from both. Okay, from both. Okay. Yeah, the uncle stuffed one of his attack rolls. Alrighty. Uh. The, their, the difference in their damage dice is significant. Um, the archers are going to, now that they've been able to work their way around the uh, the wall, they're going to attack the males defending. Yeah, this is, our clan is done. <laughs> your So here's the cool part about your, your clan. Uh, your men evade. Oh, so cool. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. Uh, 
the these orc warriors are feeling that they've scattered the horses are now starting to to go through tents um there is screaming from that side of the uh, of the encampment um they are going through other tents on the other side you have no way of knowing what's going on over there um the orc in front of you he he bleeds one he is then going to attack the man who stabbed him causing himself one damage and killing himself <laughs> The, the strike of the great strike of vengeance. Sorry, go for it. Is it a long sword? It's a falchion. Oh no! Fuck. Critical hit. Uh, I'm gonna use a power. Okay. The power is from. Um. Preacher Inquisitor. I gave up solo tactics for this. Okay. Once per day, warning. When the preacher's ally is hit by a melee or range attack, she can call it a warning to that ally, and the attacker must re-roll the attack roll and use the results of the second roll. So I'm going to call it a warning around the, the, the attack roll, the 19. Okay. Look out, dummy! <laughs> okay, you, you distract this, this orc who's bleeding to death, head mostly lopped off. Um, he still gets hit, but he doesn't get crit. Yep. 10 damage to your brother. Your brother is bloodied. Reduced to 8. Uh, yeah, he had his turn. Uh, he's still bloodied. He's still a dummy. <laughs> um, and that power I only have once per day. I, so he, I can either take teamwork feats or increase the number of times per day I could use that power. It has a few other, like, yeah. I could reroll an attack roll with that power. But... Also good. These are these are good, good yep. abilities. Yep. Termination done. Okay. Um, Calling people dummy as part of your power is fun too. <laughs> hey, dummy. Hey, dummy duck. <laughs> <laughs> don't let him do that. Uh, you don't know if he fully fathoms that you just saved his life because. <clears throat> oh, that Genzorig was... knows. <laughs> that, that's what's the yeah. main thing. <laughs> Brothers are stupid. <laughs> Genzorig knows. Uh. <clears throat> All right. Um, Kate, you're not certain what the Yak Rider's doing, and you're not certain what your father's doing. Um, the storm. Kate. You are... Oh, sorry, this orc dies. He dies from stabbing your brother. Uh, it's dangerous for your health. The storm washes over this place this wall of sand it is ever piercing it is ever grinding it is ever grating yes sir can i spend one of the hero points to whistle over a couple of horses to take cover in the tent with us you can okay i'll spend the hero point i don't know if there's a roll or if it just happens Two horses come to you despite the fact that you didn't, they shouldn't have even been able to hear you. Yep. Give me a perception check. The whistle on the Katie's wind. 25. 25. You, for a moment, saw something from within the horse um you're looking at the you, you can see Yusuke right now again sorry right yep okay you saw something enter the horse that you made eye contact with oh great spirit of sky horse the horse two horses let me get a second one well, one horse comes to you. The other one, it buggers off. Okay. But this horse, this horse comes in and it comes obediently, and with great intellect. 
it gets invited into the tent and we're all just gonna lie down to take cover against the storm like close up the tent and try to make ourselves really flat to the ground i imagine is what you try to do like not turn yourself into a big human wind kite no no we're all gonna hunker down and matt I thanks for the squirrel. thanks for the second hero point uh matt topped us back up at two so we're we're we're, we're all good all right you spend a harrowing couple of hours trying to outwithstand the wind. You have this very sinking feeling that you know that members of your tribe, your tribe is smaller for sure, but you did good. You will survive. There is enough to go on for sure. But there is definitely things left undone. I'm going to start dragging some tokens off into the shadows. We don't know where they are. As the winds die down and the darkness is around you, the horse that showed a glimmer of power to you begins to beckon. It's like pulling at you. What is it? It's like mouthing at your collar and pulling. What is it? He's going to follow the horse, I guess, having seen something supernatural enter it. Okay. The horse leads you. That There's still some wind, but the, the main storm is down and starts leading you through effectively a, a great deserted plain. It beckons you to ride. Okay. Uh, Yasuge and Saran look like they're safe. Uh, nothing. The, the screams have long since stopped and everything is... The tent has withheld. This particular tent. You know what your job is. <laughs> Just a wry smile on Gensberg's face. <laughs> Defend the, pe defend the people and repopulate. i got to figure out my, what mine is. And Genzerg will mount the horse without looking back. Uh, let the horse lead. Okay. Normally the horses bite me on the first time I try to ride them. I'm the only one who would. <laughs> only a horse would be smart enough to, or only a horse would be so stupid to not bite you. Must be a, must be a lame one. Handle animal plus three. And he gave up wild empathy for some of his rangery powers, so he, he's good at riding once they're trained. He'd be a good horse. <laughs> yep. Okay. The horse leads you on a very quick but distant journey. Give me a survival check. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, Twenty-one with tracks. You would ex. Uh, there are no tracks. They're all covered in sand. Um, you are. This horse is going. At least twice as fast as a horse should be capable of going. This is the fastest. It's sprinting, like it was a canter. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um. You're a it fast leads one, you, right? It leads you to this open plain. As the sun begins to rise, you see a strange and glorious sight, a monument of the Kunian people. Uh, let me get your token. Is this where we live, or have we traveled super far? 
you, you have traveled miles. But I know, I know where we are. You could probably figure it out. Okay. You don't know exactly where you are. Yeah, like, Genzorg's never been here before, is what you're saying. No, you've okay. never you've never seen this. Okay. Um, Which is strange, because I imagine on horseback we've got like a 100-mile radius of where we roam. Um, yes. From the village. Okay. Okay, I'm At going least to... a 40 mile. It looks like something was uncovered in the sands. What map? Alright, we're going to go to... Oh, what's this? Is this one of them ochre things that you're supposed to be strong enough to swing around? <laughs> the, the horse is leading you in the direction... But you can feel the horse slowing down. Like, it's it's now at a normal horse pace. It has stopped acting as bewitched as it once was. Well, now you're going to start biting. Uh, it, it started to start to behave more like a normal horse. The biting might happen. <laughs> okay. Well, you're not going to happen with, <laughs> with me up here. <laughs> I've got a good uh, ride it, check. It froths a little bit. It's, it's like, frothy. Um We'll, we'll go up to this thing. Okay. What um, are you? Silly spike of Grumbar. Know that Katie is above you. Look at the sky. You're jealous, aren't you? Okay. Uh, He's smack-talking the rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's his religion. <laughs> it's going to be fire, earth, air, water, air best. Um, <clears throat> could, you, could you give me a uh, survival or perception? Your choice. Uh, tracks or no? Uh, yeah, tracks. Okay. 29. 29. Um, there's man tracks that sort of lead from... That looks like they've been... Uh, sorry, I clicked on something. There we go. Uh, there's man tracks that lead up both down and up from this this monument this this artifact what trickery is this why are they all going up here to take a pee the horse does not respond to you um is the trail big enough to ride the horse up uh the the bottom part of the trail is as it goes up it'll become a little bit harder checks because and, and when you say go. man tracks do you mean humanoid or is it specifically human uh, what was your total on your survival? 29. Human. Okay. Or half giant. Big human. Oh. Okay. Big feet. These, these are, these are heavy boys. These are really heavy boys. They gotta lay off whatever they're eating there. Or maybe they're, ha maybe they're giants. Okay, he'll, he'll get off the horse to lead it. The horse okay. has like a saddle and. Yeah, and yeah. Bridle, you just grab the bridle and just lead the horse up. He's not gonna okay. let the horse. Um, okay, you, you lead the horse up follow and the tracks curled up under the crook of this weird Ikunian monument that you think is of like like you think Grumbar and Uker these things kind of come you know strength you find a naked man what's it everybody losing their clothes today Hey, is <laughs> got a, got a toes at him. Hey, his lips are parched. He's he's been beaten by the storm. He did not take appropriate cover. He coughs. <laughs> um, unceremoniously, but praising Akadi's dominance over all elements, including water. Uh, I will create water. Um, just gallons of water are being dumped on this man. <laughs> Don't make this as a habit. I'm not going to bathe you every day. Your dinner for coyote is out here. Okay. Uh, what languages does Ganzorig speak? I'm speaking at him in Kunian, uh, although okay. Ganzorig does speak... Whoops. Oh, I'm looking at Karen. Uh, lingua Flotsam. Uh, Ikunian, Lingua Flotsam, and Orcish. Karen 
speaks lingua flotsam. Imperial common. Uh, so he tries. He speaks the he speaks the tongue to you that you may or may not recognize as. Give me a second to find the the word uh, of the Bajkun. Um, he could be Bajkun, but he's not. Just my look. Bajkun. He's just he's really big and. Does he have not... any Does he have any weapons on him? This he fell from the sky. He is he is naked with no gear. There's no way he could have got here on his own. Okay. Or if he did, he's a madman, or he's buried his gear in the sand somewhere. Genzuri kind of breathes, almost like in a meditative way. Katie, show me his spirit. Uh, and I think as a inquisitor, I can just start to detect alignments. You can start going through alignments. You, privacy, f that. <laughs> um, he's going to start with evil. He is not evil. Then we will move to law. He is not law. Then we will move, hopefully, to chaos. He is, he is chaotic and has a. He is quite chaotic. And then, curiously, switches to good. He is good. Oh. He is. He is strongly. Well, and sorry, I will get you the, the specifics. Um. He, I believe, it's strong with both. He is uh, strongly good and strongly chaotic. Hmm. Thank you for your help. Um, you spent the you spent the night outside, didn't you? You don't know what a hubub is, eh? Hubub. Uh, the big, sa the big sandstorm that almost ate you, like a million uh, insects. It's a good thing I didn't. Good thing you're pretty big. You would have been just a pile of bones. <laughs> uh, Snacks for coyotes. I do not wish to be a snack for a dog. I assume uh, we both found lingua. You, you, yeah, yeah, he basically uh, across a few words. Um, he's. Um, it's lucky there were traders. Do you, have, do you have linguistics at all? Or? Uh, I think I needed linguistics in order to have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Those extra languages? Yeah, he's got a plus two. Okay, uh, roll the linguistics check. Fourteen. All right. There's either he's not very smart and or neither of these are his native language. Like, he's he speaks both languages you're not from badly. Around, you're not from around here, are you? The hag sent me here. Remember a hag. <laughs> Given that he's Katie has shown that he is good and free spirited, like like guarding against him is completely like like Genzurig's guard is down. Hold this, the reins of the horse, and then he's gonna hop up on the rocks and have a look like like hiding to make sure that there's no hag around. Hags, yeah, hags yeah, are probably look, bad. Yeah, it, hags it doesn't be bad. sound good. <laughs> so he's like stalking around, looking around, making sure that there's nobody, you know, within sight. I'll heal your wounds in a minute. Just gotta make sure there's no hags or anything else. We got attacked by orcs last night. Damn I Ruakians. I feel it. You are... What was your name again? Was it Gen Genzorig? I didn't give you my name. Oh, so, sorry. Anachronist. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what was your name again? Genzorig. Uh, I am I am Koren. Uh, Koren Oban of the... Brewery. No, that's not right. I am Karen Obon. Uh, so you got drunk and you ended up out here. Okay. Seems likely enough as anything. <laughs> uh, where is here? Um, I remember things being much more lush. And then being trapped in the castle, I think. I'm not sure. Uh... There is nothing more degrading than to be walked on by a privileged nobility for decades. Huh? The kids are still looking around, making sure that there's nothing about to attack us. I think I was the floor. You're you're pretty fucked up, eh? I think that's appropriate. He, he stands up. He is a 
big old big boy. Okay, I'll, he'll give big, him big, big old big old draft. He'll boy. give him the saddle blanket to wear. <laughs> Kids are going to start cutting holes into it and make a poncho. <laughs> yeah, he's he's six six. He's two eighty. He's on the upper limits of what you could consider a human. Here you go. He'll leave the poncho <laughs> long on the front side, but short on the back side. <laughs> <laughs> At least cover some of the shame. Don't want to get shit on my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> the. And Zurich Dude. has how many spells left? He has. He's got three. He's going to um, heal himself. I think that's just automatically 11. Yep. And then he'll heal um, Karen with one spell. He'll save okay. one spell um. for whatever. Yeah, that, that heals some of the damage he's taken over the night of exposure and trying not to die. <laughs> the horse is stupid now, but it was um, it had a spirit inside. Led me to you. Is that your doing? The gods do what the gods do. Some of them. Hmm. Well, the, if they don't do what you want them to do, then... Why listen to him? Where are you from, anyways? Uh, I want to say... End something or other. It doesn't, re doesn't uh, sound like anything around here. You know what this big stone goliath monolith thing is? Not particularly... Okay, well, Genzer will have a quick look at it. Is, okay. there, is there any way in? Uh, you are inspecting it. Give me a, um, like a perception or detect traps sort of check. No, uh, perception. 27. 27? Uh, there are inscriptions in multiple different languages. Uh, there okay. is... Genzer having... The Ikunian is one of them. All right, he'll look at the Acunian script. Okay. Um, this is a a temple for, like, it is a, a tribute to those who are strong and, like, seek challenge. It is basically a monument to strength, and it represents the strength of the Acunian people. It is a challenge. Oh, I think that thing up top there, you see where it's all, like, like, got bumps? It's not going to explain. Describe things. Plus, look. <laughs> the handle? Yeah. No, yeah. It'd be perfect in a TV show where they just don't describe things. There was a guy. <laughs> he had a face. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think that's where the big where the big gods can pick the thing up to see if you're strong or not. I'm strong. Yeah, you look it. Looks like you eat pretty good. I like food. <laughs> Okay, Genzorig is going to try to survival up some sandals for Karen. Okay. Like wrap his feet so that he doesn't Just like cut himself. Cut himself to death and not be able to wander through the the sands. Okay. Uh, give me a survival check. Sure. To see if they're like how decent they are. Or are, you, are you wrapping a stone against his foot? <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's decent, you know. Okay. Are you able to, to rope some cloth around his feet? Um, okay, you can walk now. We got water. I don't think I have much food on us. Karen is going to attempt to... Do you know how to hunt? Why would I hunt? I can make beer. Oh, to feed you too? So how... Do you do you have barley or hops? I can make beer from barley and hops. Yeah, you're gonna to starve to death before we get some barley and hops in our in our bellies. No, no, no. The barley and hops goes in the beer. The beer goes in the bellies. Yeah, thanks. 
be stupider than you are. <laughs> so he says to a cooey into the horse. <laughs> he says, I agree. And he says, no, what <laughs> well, well, pot calling a kettle black. <laughs> Gets or it's got a 10 in. <laughs> average. Just straight average. What are you doing up there? Don't hurt yourself. I only got, I don't got no spells left. He's lying. <laughs> uh, he's going to attempt to climb. Uh, oh, you break your ankle and he's going to have to ride you. <laughs> he rolls a three. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Uh, he, he slides down. He, he, he's blaming the, he's, you see him sort of flicking at the, uh, the footwear. Uh, he, he takes it off for the climbing. Try again. Uh, 24. Uh, he climbs up. You're going to break your neck if you fall from there. I'm not going to... I'm not going to save you if you do. Okay. Uh, you can see him staring at this, this weird monument. He stands on top of it. You see him start to shake a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch him. You catch him. So he says, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. There's a glow. Okay. He starts talking to himself in a language that you don't quite understand. Are, um, you, are you sunsick too? Give me a linguistics check just to see if you sort of got a sense of what's going on. 14. 14? It, he definitely sounds like he's praying. He is praying in several different languages at the same time, and you can tell just the structures are really weird. Um, All right. He's going to just... Keep an eye on him and tend to the horse. He'll get the horse out of this little, like he'll bring let the horse go graze or something. Just keeping an eye on Karen. The Gedzerk does have a sixteen strength, but he's like five ten and a buck seventy five. He's not catching a six six Karen. If he <laughs> falls three hundred pound man falling from, uh, from, the from a fifty foot drop. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, no, we're, we're also clearing, you know, he'll yep. bounce there, and he'll bounce there, and he'll bounce there. <laughs> and that's where he'll be buried. Right there. <laughs> okay. Um, he'll be food for buzzards. Okay, he holds his hands to the sky, and he yells at the end of whatever he was mumbling. And... He holds his, brings his hands back down, and he looks pleased with himself. He didn't see anything. Corinne, on the other hand, saw the brilliant flash of light and many, many familiar faces. Cord! Cord is his name now! I don't remember the name before, but Cord, Sport Athletics. Yeah! Yeah, Cord's the strong guy. So what? Oh, oh, he almost slips off the top of his pillar. Uh, he, uh, let me get down from here. I, I am to help Cord. I am to help you. Nope. Don't mind. Uh, my robes used to be longer. <laughs> Your people are not free. You are not free. This land is not free. This land should be free. Do you know how to swing a sword? Yes. For for clubs, but I can swing a sword. Okay. Uh, you see him, he now has a piece of jewelry. He has a holy symbol of cord. I'm not even going to ask where you, where you plucked that from. <laughs> He was naked a minute ago. <laughs> He's talking to the horse. Most unnatural. 
<laughs> talking to the horse in a coon. <laughs> <clears throat> is this one of our own horses? This is one of your own horses, yes. Okay, so I don't need to use the cantrip to brand it? All right. Nope. Give the brand cantrip? It's mine. <laughs> yeah. My horse. My horse. <laughs> oh. uh, we're going to toss uh, the big guy, uh, the heavy pick that um, Genzari carries. Just a regular heavy pick. Okay. Uh, he... Here. It's not a sword, but, you know, pointy end. Uh, I could. This is a, this is something I can wield. Um, are you? Let me just check my spell list. Um, I can now also produce the water. Although it'd be better if we produced beer. I used to be able to make beer. I'm certain it will come to me any tiny moment now. Kinsarek's a little confused now. Did Katie send me him, or did Cord? Who's, who's here to help me. who? Yeah, somebody's dicking with me. <laughs> Katie, thank you for saving us in that in that sandstorm. Your timely haboob probably saved my my clan, but I don't. Hmm. I think the spirit that went inside this horse was that of Cord, not of Katie. Well, are Cord and Akadi not friends? He doesn't know. He's just... I don't think Akadi cares about Cord. She's mm. high up in her sky. Cord is just a, like a man crawling around on Grumbar's beard. Crawling, jumping, leaping, competing across Grumbar's beard. You're funny. But not I in like a, you too. Not in a ha-ha sort of way. What am I supposed to do? Which way is your home? This Ander place. Uh, that way? I think my home has long since... That way? <laughs> um, Which way did you wander from? Which way did the hag send you running or drag you or whatever. I didn't see any tag tracks. I think something went wrong. Or well, something went right. It must be right. I'm here. And you're here. Yeah. And I'm... I have found my connection. Okay. We must bring freedom to this land. He, he, he wants to have a look at what he's got in his hand. Okay, uh... He has a holy symbol in his hand. Where'd you get this? Uh, it does not smell of poo poo. Just in case that's what you're checking. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he's not touching it. Just in case. <laughs> Where'd you get this? This is smile on his face. They gave it to me. So this place is holy. Thor and Caden and Cord agreed. Or their spirits agreed, or their memories agreed. Who? Champions. Mm. They need champions, and I can be a champion. I was a champion before, I'll be a champion again. And I will complete their tasks. I climbed their pillar, and I'll pick it up next time I come back. Okay. I think he's mad. Okay, um, I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go. I have a feeling maybe I could check up on my people. I think it's several days this way. The horse isn't moving as quick as it did. Spirit said you needed help. I realized my whole tribe needs help. I said I'm coming out here to save your... <laughs> <laughs> well, I am in your debt. Hmm. This way then. We should help your tribe. Okay. okay. Genzorg not feeling like he needs to go somewhere. It's gonna... We found a warrior. Yep. All right. Uh, you 
make your way back. Give me a basic survival check just to see how efficiently you get there. Um, Can I follow my own tracks, or did we leave oh, tracks? Is, you did go through a storm, so part of the way you left tracks. Okay. 25. 25? Okay. Um, as you're making your way back uh, in the tracks, you do see orc tracks intercepting your own set of tracks. Oh, this is not good. Maybe we should go back to that. Maybe we should go back to that holy place to recuperate a bit. Yeah, once we see orc tracks, Genzurig wants to... He's looking for a place to camp. Uh, okay. we, we moved at like twice horse rate, and we traveled uh, for how long? You traveled basically for a day. The, the, the horse didn't get tired, and you traveled for 18 hours. Okay, yeah, we need we need to rest before making our push back. The horse isn't going as fast anymore? No. Okay, the horse gets blamed a couple of times for that. <laughs> the, the horse wasn't tired, though. Okay. That was one thing. It was, <clears throat> you know, it was fresh as a day. Yeah, we come yeah. across orc tracks, we're going to... We're actually going to book back an hour and then start looking for a place to uh, okay. to hide. Hang on a second. Let's see if I put that map in the stack. I might have skipped it. I did. That's fine. We're just going to unfog part of the thing. Well, like arid terrain is like Bloop. quick quick map. Arid probably. Bloop. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, your your. Um, a good number of miles from the uh and karen still hurt uh no karen is just like malnourished okay how long did we travel before the orc uh tracks were evident uh you found orc tracks after about four hours of travel we're actually it, gonna go we're actually gonna go all the way back to this place okay we're gonna turn back <clears throat> okay you make your way back i will try to make a camp for us to hide how's the weather like could we survive without fire uh, i'm just gonna now give me a second on this day on a day with you for It is a beautiful day. Okay. Um, Kenzer Katie gonna... has blown her wind, and she needs to recuperate. Well, that's a weird thought. Um, <laughs> uh, Genzorg's going to spend the evening basically setting Karen down. He doesn't know how to hunt. He's just going to get in his way, get him to look after the horse, let the horse just basically graze on nearby grass, uh, and he's going to hunt uh, for some food. We can't have our warrior on an empty stomach okay while you were gone he has unless like, there was any food in the the saddle bag not sure no nah, i don't have any food listed on my character sheet so i'm guessing okay nope <clears throat> nobody put their trail rations you need a survival my survival yep yeah. Uh, 1921 if we're tracking okay um yeah you're you're able to to forage uh for food there's a uh get several small lizards as well as some like edible cactus um it's for people who are hungry it is delicious um and you have the ability to cook and consume in a healthy fashion it is not fantastic. Uh, this this guy apparently does uh, he does have suggestions on cooking. He like he knows something about how to make stuff. Like he's not okay. Well, Genzerg will let him screw up something that's not essential. Like we'll we'll eat. We just need it warm. We don't we we can just eat it warm. This is not we're not on a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, we're not on a picnic, but. Uh, 19 to 
sort of culinary <laughs> culinary the the uh, well it's craft brewer so he's making a trying to make a drink out of the uh the cactus we're not going to be here long enough but uh you could experiment all you want when we get back uh, it, it doesn't have time to ferment but yeah taste this it should taste almost like a child's drink okay can't sorry what the fuck I'm gonna drink it down it's a nice mix of cactus water <laughs> like it's it's fine it's good. Uh, he, he now he now realizes he's dealing with city folk. <laughs> you don't get out of cities too often, don't you? You grew up in a city, didn't you? Well, on the edge of a forest, I think. I was a woodcutter. That's how I got so strong. Um, but then, yes, went to the city. Hate druids. <laughs> Some of the heroes of my people are plains druids. Are they forest druids? Those oh. are the ones you have to watch out for. Mm. Making the trees grab you? Mm. Forests are, forest are where we bury our dead. The forest of dead horses is not far from here. Interesting. The yep. forest is where I got kidnapped and married. <laughs> That's a story. Oh, it doesn't look like you got much <laughs> got much of it in there. And Sorry, like taps his head with like a stick that he was using to, <laughs> to poke the food with. <laughs> so you don't know don't remember where you're from. Did the gods bring you here? Yes. The gods brought me here. They willed it. They allowed it at least. The, um, the hag enabled it. But she was a good hag, I think. Good hag? Well, hmm. she freed me from... I... I was in a bad place. I was trapped in a bad place for a long time. I don't know no eggs, although... I slew the demon queen. My uncle's first wife wasn't very good looking. <laughs> That's what the beer is for. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, I think they're gonna like you. If you could swing that, if we could swing that, uh, swing that sword real good, we got we got need for warriors, good strong arms. You're kind of clumsy though. I am, well, not as fast as you, but I'm stronger than you. Okay, okay, calm down. Just... Shall we see who can pick up the largest stone? No, no, you win at that. We're going to save our strength. There, there's orcs, remember? You know what an orc is, right? Uh, green skin, hard to kill. I think. Sla slavers killing people, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the this super super cross look on his face in the name of their one-eyed god yeah if i ever see that god i'll pluck out his other eye with an arrow <laughs> i can agree to that that's something we can drink to if only water for now and cactus cactus brine um not so bad we gotta get you some good curdled goat smoke some uh what is it called uh, uh they they yeah there's a a um a horse milk wine mix that was also a thing mm, chunky <laughs> <laughs> just how i like it uh Kumis? Mare's milk contains sugars or cow's goat milk when fermented. Kumis is a higher, uh, though still mild, alcohol content compared to kefir. Okay, so there's some, some sort of way of getting blasted. I've, I've had <laughs> kefir. So What's that? I had kefir in China. Okay. Um, <clears throat> no. uh, 
Get some caffeine in you. Uh, some caffeine poison. <laughs> caffeine uh, poison. Not sure what that is, but it sounds delicious. Um, wouldn't mind pants. I mean, I'm I'm okay to to dangle. Everyone's gonna laugh at you a little bit. You you don't know how to hunt. You don't know how to ride. <laughs> I don't think he has a riding skill. I'm assuming you don't know how to ride. You're kind of big for a horse. No, um, I'm fast. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have a foot race? Considering that we found this oaf fell from the heavens. <laughs> Look at him. He's useless. We need to feed him. And he's big, so he's very hungry. It's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> sure, I guess. It's a good thing his alignment is what it is because Ganzorik feels sorry for you as opposed to, like, I, I don't trust you at all. <laughs> you mentioned slavery. The orcs taken, taking people away. They've been fighting the Kunians for a long time. Without the help of anyone else, Jade Empire, Iron Lords or whatever, are too busy fighting themselves. What of fighting comes to us. We're not winning either. Well, we should... We should fight back. Slavery is wrong. What do you think we're doing? It's not like we're just letting them take us. We're a proud warrior people. He's like... You get that through your head before we get back to the village. <laughs> <laughs> or it'll turn your backside into target practice. It's gotta be a blood arrows. <laughs> there might be a. There's probably a game in there somewhere. Game arrow, yeah. Children's bows or something. How many? How many points for a bullseye? <laughs> this guy is an idiot. <laughs> but he's funny. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> we'll we'll get you to a healer when we get back. Check out your head. Uh, are you feeling all right? Um, well, anxious now. I left all my tribe to go fetch you, and there's orcs out there. So when we head back, we're probably gonna probably gonna encounter some of them. Mm. They don't they don't come in small numbers. Those bastards. Well, then we'll have to hit and run. Okay. Gorilla tactic. No, no, we're not monkeys. <laughs> Horses. <laughs> you can ride monkeys. <laughs> 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 whatever you, whatever you city folk are like. <laughs> I miss my mug. My, my great battle stein. What's a stein? Blessed by Kalian. Who? God of beer. And freedom. And rebellion. It's not the worst god I've ever heard of. Still, all the little gods scurrying around underneath Akkadi. I'm not so familiar with Akkadi. Look up. Do you feel the wind in your air? Do you see the clouds? Have you ever shot an arrow? There's a kitty. She's in the sky. She is the sky. She's above everything. She's the greatest of all the gods. She's careless, free, but she can be terrible in her anger. Was that the Habub? I was a kitty. She gave us a chance. Almost tore you a new one. I thought I did something wrong. <laughs> Maybe you did. 
I mean, maybe you farted when you shouldn't have. <laughs> I didn't have any. There was no risk at all. I didn't even have pants. I could have farted all I wanted. What? The, what would be the? Oh, do not worry. We are so small. He doesn't take mind of us, unless we're very, very quiet. Unless we're very still. She only hears our prayers. I'm used to gods that see your deeds. Well, she sees everything the sky sees. Grumbar tries to hide things from her. Caves are bad. The sea is even worse. Deep and dark and far away. Covering Grumbar. All the gods are just trying to be closer to Akadi. Even fire sends its smoke up into the air. To join the clouds. To join Akadi. All beneath her are jealous. So don't worry too much about yours. He's just like us. Crawling around. Look like little ants. One of many. One of many. Although I think he's big. Maybe not sky big, but pretty big. Orcs wander around at night. They can see well in the dark. We should leave first thing in the morning. They'll be they'll be tired. Right before daybreak, we should we should head out. As they're camping down, we'll be we'll be on the run. As I remember it, I I've, I've never been very sneaky. Quick though. We'll stay behind hills. If the orcs see us, they see us. I'm on horseback after all. And we'll see how good you can run. <laughs> I take that as a challenge. <laughs> Don't tire yourself out too bad. <laughs> we're, gonna have to, we're gonna have to find a, a bigger weapon for you. I something two handed. Typically I like clubs. Um those sorts of things. Sorry. Rounds of that <laughs> city I, person acting like a barbarian. I like crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all they, they allow you to have in your city? Well, I heard some cities the guards take your bow away at the gate. I, I was in many places where they wouldn't allow blades or armor. There was um, rules. He says it like it's a dirty word. Kids are kids are nods that yeah. stupid. Just people being afraid, afraid of warriors. I mean, a true warrior is always armed. He holds up his fist. Okay, you're some sort of crazy monk then. Okay. Yeah, no one's gonna want to get into a fist fight with you. Blunt weapons. Good for adjusting people's attitudes. Give them an opportunity to change their mind. Opportunity to stab you or cut you with a cut you with an axe. Then you adjust their attitude again. Mm. Get the right shrugs. Katie showed showed me his spirit, so he doesn't think that Karen's gonna start like telling everyone what to do. Freedom. <laughs> All right, we'll set up early in the morning, and then okay. we'll, we'll see how fast Karen can move. Does he move oh, as fast as the horse? Or uh, one second, I think he's ten feet slower than the horse. The horse moves at fifty. I think we have a house rule: uh, mounts have their speed reduced by 10. So. Okay, so he keeps up with the horse. My, my man's runs with the horse. Yeah, light horse 50. Um, gets rig on top of horse 40. And Karen <laughs> Barbarian or Blood Rager levels or whatever. Barbarian. Yep. <gasps> uh, he's, he's huffing along? No, Blood Rager. 
Urban oh, Blood Raider. Urban Blood Raider. His rage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He <laughs> says urban in there. Uh, his rage, though, he picks which. It's not both. He, he could, he could yeah. con or dex rage as well. Yep. But strength rage is. We, we, we strength rage. He doesn't get the con boost, is what. He also doesn't yeah. get the. Penalty. He can cast spells. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Does he get fatigued? What's that? Is there fatigue with Urban Ranger? Mm, I think there is. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Oh, quick, quick search will tell me. Yeah. Yep. Fatigue. Fatigue. All right, um, Kate, you you pick a time of night where you're less likely to run, um, which is not the night, but close enough. Um, I would do roll a percentile uh, on the first day of travel. There is no issue. Are you trying to force march or try to find some way to compress this? We've got two more days of travel left. If we travel, we'll arrive in late evening or late afternoon. Yeah, late day, end of day. Let's force march a little bit. Okay. To bring that arrival time earlier in the day. Okay. Uh, Let's just see which I don't think we have endurance. It's just con checks. So, <laughs> Karen starts complaining about being hungry early into the force march. <laughs> okay, that's one. Um, so he fails the first one. He's fatigued. He keeps going. Um, he doesn't fail the second one. Okay, what's the? It's just con, or is it a fort save? Con? I believe it's Constitution checks. Okay, Genzorig. Ten, I think, makes the first check. Yep. And nine fails the second. Okay. And then the um, horse has endurance, so it gets a plus four. Plus four. Roll. Yep. Uh, makes both. Okay, Genzerg's starting to get like saddle sores, and you know, yep. uh, was it four non-lethal? Four, four non-lethal each. Uh, and you can't be healed until you rest or remove. They're able to remove the fatigue condition. All right. None of us are at the level where we're lesser restoration ourselves. I, so I don't think so. I think we're. I think we're not. Yeah, I think this is where we we, we travel an extra two hours and then we're gonna find a quiet place to bed down. Okay. Um. Okay, you bed down. Um. Give me a survival roll just to see how well you you do this. Um. Grand is not useful in this sort of instance. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Cool. Yeah, you find a you find a, a great spot uh, at, at the base of a mountain. At the base of the mountains, you you are protected from the wind. Um, it is generally good weather. Okay, Gensorig can create water, but we. I'm assuming we don't have enough food left over. <laughs> like we ate our cacti. No. Yeah. yeah we. So. He'll spend a couple of hours that evening after forest marching, try to scrounge up some grub, okay. which might very well be grubs. <laughs> Another survival check. Yep. 23, 25 with tracks. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, no, you are, you're actually able to get, um, uh, you're able to have meat this evening. Um, again, desert, desert cacti and this, in this case it's lizard. Um, is a step above bug. <laughs> um, Karen creates the water, uh, so you you do see he casts spells. Hey, Cord give you that? Yes, in accordance with the great contest. Okay, we'll let the, the we'll let the horse chew on whatever grasses are nearby and make sure the horses got water. And he then casts another spell and he points at one of the lizards and goes, "That one is poisonous." On the, on the front end, Gensorg already knows this. It's just yeah, he 
Chops off his head. Exactly. Yeah, okay, I'll eat this one. <laughs> he, he knows what those tricks are because he has those cantrips. Uh, mm-hmm. 